Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by today. This is Sandy from Color Creatively. And this video is going to be completed pictures for January 2020. So they're not in any particular order and they're not in the order that I did them. But um, we're going to go through, I think I've done five books, something in five books. So Let's take a look at the completed pictures. I'm going to leave these two aside for a minute and go into this one. Now, I was in a collaboration or a challenge, I should say, with John, the bibliophile colorist, and Lisa from Lisa's Coloring Corner, and it was about gel pens and either coloring the whole thing in gel pens or using gel pens to accent your main character or image. So in this book, I did a lot in gel pens. So that's why I'm going to start with that first. Okay, this is uh, Intricate Man Mandalas by Jade Summer. Let me put all these books over there too, so I can grab one at a time. And um, I tried to do them in order. Now this is Total Gel Pen. Uh, this is the Sargent Arts glitter gel pen, the whole thing on here. And what I did is I had a small set of the Sargent Art 10 colors, and I tried to use the same 10 colors. I don't know if I brought them here. Yeah, I did. Let me show you what I have. Okay. I bought the Sargent Art glitter gel pens. There's 10. And I just used these 10 on these mandalas that I did all in glitter gel pen. And I changed the colors around. And then with the drawing being different, it gives it a totally different look. You can get so many color combinations out of just 10 pens. So that was what I did here. This is the first one, and I'll point the ones out that are the uh, glitter gel pen. This one is not. And I think I did this last month. I wasn't sure, but I did add some um, glitter to it. And for those of you that do not know what glitter I use, this is my go-to. It is uh, Folk Art Extreme Glitter Acrylic Paint and it is in hologram. If you get hologram, it's clear and you can put it over any color of a uh, base color that you have, pencils, markers, whatever. Uh, and this comes really inexpensively at Walmart. Um, so check it out, Folk Art, Extreme Glitter, Acrylic Paint. And I don't have my glasses on so I can see the label. Um, glitter finish acrylic paint hologram okay for those of you that want to know I am not a fan of stickles because it leaves your paper too thick it's glue I, I like to have my glitter uh, showing but I want it smooth and it's a fine glitter and then I put a little glitter on this one too I think I did these two last month I might have done them this month to tell you the truth I don't know anymore Okay, and this one I did for sure this month. This was with the um, dual brush pens from Tombow, water-based markers. And I did the same thing with this. I used a small pack of tin, and then I tried to change colors. This was with Tombow also, and I have some glitter on there. And this month was Mandela Madness and the Glitter Gel Pen Challenge. So for those of you that are new to my video, this is what I'm showing. On here, I used a watercolor. What I did is I wet the center. I got a watercolor look. Let me zoom in a little bit. Maybe you can see that. Um, there's a watercolor look in here. And what I did is I wet it a little bit. And you got to be really careful because this is very thin paper. This is the Amazon paper. And then I just dropped in the uh, ink off of the um, water-based marker. And it gave it a watercolor look. Let me go back out again to show you the other pictures. Okay, 
This again was Tombow's, and I will be having a video where I am using Tombow's, but I needed to get familiar with them, and I have that folk art glitter, glue, uh, glitter acrylic paint on here too. And again, the same, you know, I have two sets. Here are the Sergeant Art again, and it looks different than the first one, but it's the same. This is the first one, and this is the second, so I just use different pins, and this whole thing is glitter gel pen. This one also is glitter gel pen with the Sergeant Art, and if you see it again, it looks totally different than the others, so that was with just 10 pins. Then we'll skip back here to this one was with Sergeant Art. The whole thing is glitter gel pen also. So John and Lisa, I was doing glitter gel pen, a lot of it. And let's see, the next one, I'm going to take that off, that I did was this one with a Sergeant Art. No, this is with Tombos, I'm sorry. This is with Tombow water-based markers and my folk art um, acrylic paint and this gray color in here that I sparkled, I used a colored pencil to get that. And then I went over it with a folk art. This one I did not add any kind of glitter to it and it, it's the um, uh, uh, water-based, uh, yeah, let's see, yeah, it's water-based markers. It is also from one of my Tombow sets. You can't see the different blues in there, but there's two different blues. They're pretty dark, and um, I, I didn't uh, dilute them down or anything. And then the last one I did with the um, those markers was this one, and there's no glitter on it either. I just liked the pink color. I don't know. This lighting in here this morning is sort of hard to see. So it's pinks and greens and yellow greens and, and a turquoise. So I hope that's coming across. Maybe it's my glasses here. It's, it's light. It's a pastel. Okay, so that's some of the glitter challenge that I did. And um, now let's take a look at some more. I worked out of this book by um, Marty Noble, Flower Mandalas, and I took them out of the book. They're all on black backgrounds. And this one, this was painted. I, use, I have a video on how I paint with the gel pen. And this was glitter gel pen that I painted with. The rest is glitter gel pen and uh, this was painting so it's a combination of glitter gel pen and painting with the gel pen so if you're interested in that check out my video on painting with gel pens okay the next one i did out of this book was this and i used the tombow markers again the water-based markers and then i took my um Folk art glitter acrylic paint and put on certain spots on it. And this is, uh, and I also uh, used a colored pencil to detail the birds. And I detailed the flowers with colored pencil. Okay, here's another one that I did. And this is with the Tombow markers. And I just used my glitter um, acrylic paint to highlight some of the flowers. Okay, let's move on and see what else we did this month. Okay, I'm reaching across here to get into the books. I worked out of this book, Magical Mandalas by Alberta Hutchinson, and I took them out of there, and here's what I did. This is with the neon, Crayola Neon Crayons, and I did a video on this. Um, so you might want to check out my review. Actually, it's a review. And then I put some of the glitter on here, too. And this came out a very light pastel. So don't be disappointed in these. They're translucent, but they come out a very pretty pastel. I used my Zestit uh, solvent pencil blend to 
turn it into paint. Okay. Uh, what we did too this month was learn how to take junk mail and make our own stencils and put some design around our mandalas. And so that's just an example of what I did. Again, the folk art glitter paint. And this was just with junk mail. I do have a video this month on that. Look under my playlist techniques and you will find these videos. Okay, this one was all the glitter gel pen. Ex yeah, except for the part of the blue here. And that is gel pen, but it's not a glitter one. And then I took and had some paper punches and punched out these designs of a flower and star and put those on here with the glitter gel pen. So this is all glitter gel pen and regular gel pen. So we did that one too. And this one was one of them that I did. This is all glitter gel pen here and the edges, but the leaves here, I wanted them to be different and stand out more. So I took Crayola crayons, regular Crayola crayons, and turned that into paint and did the leaves. So look under my technique videos if you're interested. Okay, let's move on. We did some more this month. And the next one I, I want to show you is a million owls. I worked in this, even though it's Mandela Madness Month, I did do a million owls. And I'm show you this one. This was the last one I did. These were the uh, owl balloons, and we put some glitter gel pen. We used some um, soft pastels. We used pencils. We did blending, and we did some detailing. So that's how these little guys came out. And this one down here in the back, these two are the glitter gel pen. And there's a little bit of uh, the background is soft pastels. But for the most part, you can see when I move it, the costumes are all glitter gel pen. And um, I had these stickers from Walmart that I put on there, happy and love. So this was all done um, basically with glitter gel pens and soft pastels. And I used some pencil to detail their face. Okay, let's move on. We have another one here. Last but not least. And this was from Jason Hamilton, The Art of Mandala 2. And I believe I only did one in here. And it was this one here. Again, I used the glitter gel pen here in the center to highlight, make this um, flower, this, uh, I, I envisioned it a lilac, um, stand out. And I used Crayola crayon here and turned this into paint. So that was what this one is. So that's what I have done this month. And uh, I just wanted to come by with my completed pictures and show them to you. I hope you like them. I hope you've learned, um, you've enjoyed my technique videos, I should say. And if not, you, if you haven't seen them, you can always check that out. So I want to say thank you for stopping by. Thank you for your support this month. Thank you for coloring mandalas. We will be coming out with the pictures colored by you probably the 1st of February with that video where you get to share your mandalas. I want to thank each and every one of you who submitted your mandalas and other pictures for the video. Thank you so much. And once again, until we meet again, happy coloring.